Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode. So here at Jaws of Podiatry. <clears throat> there you go. Happy Friday. Um, young patient returns to our office, recurrent, um, super duper painful. IPK, intractable porokeratosis, aka the seated core. As a result of the underlying structural problem, to be more specific, the hammer toe. Okay. Let's go ahead and load the foot. There we go. The hammer toe. Peak of the deformity. The symptom, the core. Okay. So we're going to do what we do. At the top of the list, pain management, right? Make sure that the patient is comfortable. We're going to go ahead and enucleate, right? The lesion. Now, this is a very, very painful lesion, right? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain. When it's this large, probably about an 8. 8. So it's definitely affecting daily life activities, right? Yes. Okay, we'll, we'll kind of go slow, right? The most painful part of this procedure today is kind of removing the, you know, what I like to call the callus cap, the top portion, right? At one point, if I recall correctly, patient, it was a little area that was, um, it was a little open, right? There was a little central ulceration at one point, the first time. Right. You know, so we have spoken to the patient multiple times about possible surgery, right? Possible. Yes. <laughs> the patient is very focused on, on not feeling any discomfort. See, there's that core right there. You know, we have made the recommendations in respect to, you know, the conservative measures, right? The tchotchkes. You know, um, when I when I press on the the peak of the deformity there, there you know, I feel the bone. We know that there's bone, and this will continue to recur as long as the bone is there. And this is just a, I mean, it's a it's a whopper. Let's work the central portion here a little bit. I'm just kind of feeling around. We do have what we call the, I like to call the cal a, a rim of callus along the periphery here. I like to be very, very gentle and very careful here because if we go too deep we will go ahead and unfortunately we don't want to cut the skin right yeah. see that's that central portion there very fragile When I press it now, much better. Much better. A percent wise, in the last three minutes that we've been doing this, from before and now, how much relief? Hard to say. It's much better than it was. Yeah? 50, 60 percent? Probably. Good.
Now you guys are what you guys are seeing there. That's the that's the central core, right? The core, and right around here, there's another tiny little core right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll show you guys now. It's very fragile. There it is. Right there. No, so we're all we're all done. Okay, at least for today. Now the most important thing is let's not forget that what we see here today is a symptom of an underlying structural problem if the structure is there the symptom will come back, come back. so until until further notice how, how long does it come uh, how quickly three one month two probably about two months so in about two months we will have the good fortune of seeing the patient once again and and I think a lot of the people that may see this video will say well dr. Weiner well why doesn't you know why doesn't the patient do something about it and what do we say about that there's a time and a place I guess yes <laughs> so you know the most important thing when we approach any clinical presentation let's not forget there are conservative measures and this is one of them, right? Whether it's a change in shoe gear, whether it's a, you know uh, using a little bit of uh, the pumice stone, urea-based cream, and anything out there just to conservatively treat this. And then lastly, we consider the big S, surgery. Okay? Even though it's a minimally invasive procedure, even though it's this, even though it's that, surgery is surgery is surgery. And with that, I will, uh, we'll, gonna, you know, we'll go ahead and close this up. We will continue to do what we do, educate the world that these clinical presentations do exist. We will continue to change the world one foot and one toe at a time. As always, thank you for watching.